Republican Congressman George Santos has been expelled. In a rare move, his colleagues in the House voted 311 to 114 to remove him from office. The resolution is adopted and a motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. Santos has been charged with numerous crimes centered around various kinds of fraud, but he hasn't yet been convicted of anything. Santos claimed, quote, I will be the only one ever expelled from Congress without a conviction or without having committed treason. But is that true? Let's verify. Our sources are the U.S. House, the U.S. Senate, and historical news reports. The Constitution says a member can be expelled from the House or Senate with a two-thirds vote of the members of that chamber. According to House records, only five representatives had been expelled before George Santos. The first three were in 1861, all for treason when they joined the Confederacy and took up arms against the Union. The next expulsion wasn't until 1980. Congressman Michael Myers was convicted of bribery and expelled from the House a month later. And in 2002, Congressman James Traficant was also expelled following a bribery conviction. On the Senate side, 15 members have been expelled, all for treason. One senator was expelled in 1797 for meddling in foreign affairs with a scheme to attack what was then Spanish territory and handed over to Britain. 14 were expelled in 1861 for supporting the Confederacy. So we can verify Santos is correct. He is the first member of Congress to be expelled without being convicted of a crime or having committed treason. Jury selection for Santos's federal charges is scheduled for September of next year. With your Verify, I'm Casey Decker.